One of the men briefing President Obama before his speech this week, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack. Well, I, get I got caught up with him yesterday to talk about what his group is doing to help prepare our nation's farmers for the cli changing climate and weather. We just finished uh, an assessment of the impact of changing climates on both our crop production and livestock production as well as our forests. And basically what we found was that the weather is getting more intense, the temperatures are rising, and it's going to create some serious difficulties and challenges for agriculture unless we begin to adapt and mitigate now. So we wanted to give farmers and ranchers the tools today to be able to adapt so that this future is not as dire as it might be if we don't. And what are some of the tools you're, you're planning on giving farmers and ranchers? Well, we're setting up a series of regional research hubs that will look at regional differences in terms of weather and its impact on agriculture in each region of the country. Obviously, we grow different things in different places of the country, and the climate will have an impact on those crops and livestock differently. Uh, so we want to provide an understanding of what the vulnerabilities are uh, in each region and then create uh, strategies and adaptation and mitigation techniques uh, for farmers. As you're implementing these, uh, these changes, are you, are you meeting with any resistance or are farmers and ranchers uh, pretty open-minded about this? Well, you know, farmers are very, very sensitive to weather changes, Al. Uh, they, they basically understand and appreciate how important it is to understand weather conditions and to be able to adapt to it. It's one of the reasons why agriculture has been one of the most productive aspects of our economy in the last 30, 40 years, because farmers have adapted and embraced new technology. So there is an understanding and appreciation uh, for embracing new techniques and, and wanting information about how the changing climate is going to impact and affect crop production. What we don't want is a situation where we're caught blindsided and we end up not being able to grow things that we are uh, historically able to grow in this country. And we, we sometimes take agriculture for granted and we should not in this country. Uh, the changing climate can dramatically impact and affect agriculture unless we adapt today. Well, we're going to have more of my conversation with Secretary Vilsack coming up at the bottom of the hour, including how this unpassed farm bill could affect all of our pocketbooks when it comes to our food. We heard from Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack about climate change and the American farmer. In the second part of our interview, we talked about the latest failure of the farm bill to pass the House and what this means going forward. There are many, many consequences to the, uh, to the non-passage of a farm bill. And I think hopefully as people understand and appreciate the magnitude of what isn't going to happen or what could adversely happen, uh, the House will change course and come back and do their job and get the job done. Mr. Secretary, why do you think that you know, more Americans aren't, aren't outraged about this? <laughs> I, I guess it's because they don't know what I know, Al, and it's part of my job and responsibility to make sure folks understand and appreciate that we're going to have less conservation, uh, less job growth, uh, less renewable energy production, less research. And I think as people understand the magnitude of the of the missed opportunity here, they will become a bit more agitated and, and outraged at this and express that outrage to members of Congress. And maybe that will persuade uh, members of Congress uh, and the House of Representatives to do their job. I mean, it's been an unfortunate and, and uh, significant failure of leadership. And some folks have said, well, we'll just extend some of the existing programs. Well, the problem with that is that that's just rewarding failure. Do you think it's going to take a, a, a shock to Americans' pocketbooks and purses uh, for people to stand up and go, hey, what's going on here? It could, because if we revert back to permanent law, which is what happens if farm bill programs are not extended or a new farm bill is not passed, we could potentially see that translate into higher prices in the grocery store. I hope we don't get there. I think everyone understands that that's a consequence, uh, which hopefully will, will compel the House leadership to figure out a way to get their work done so that we get a House bill and a Senate bill. That then creates an opportunity for a conference so that reasonable people can get in a room, work out the differences, and get a bill to the president before September 30th.